It's with mixed emotions, too numerous to name, that we welcome you to the 20th annual A Walk to Remember in this virtual format. The circumstances of 2020 have been like navigating a foreign land for all of us. We had hoped to be together in our remembrance and celebration of all the precious lives that changed the world for all those they touched in the too short of time we were allowed to know them. With that opportunity unavailable to us, one thing remains unchanged. We do remember, we do love, we do send our prayers, our love, and our support. We never forget your precious child. We never forget you. We never forget your family. Dr. Joan Cacciatore wrote in her greatest fears, one of my greatest fears is that the world will forget her and I cannot let that happen. So she shows up in the world through me. When I help another or act in love or choose kindness, I bring her humbly back into the world and remind others that she lived, she died, and she matters still. I welcome you to participate in any way you wish. This walk began and it continues because of the love and dedication of those who've experienced the joy, the grief, the love and the losses that are commemorated each year. I cannot claim to know how you feel, to have been in your position, to truly understand. I am, like many who volunteer each year and look forward to the opportunity to stand in support of you and your families, one who stands witness. We have been the people who were there finding that first heartbeat that we listened to together through tears and laughter. We've been the ones who saw those first ultrasound pictures with you. We've also been the ones who held your hand through heartbreak and held back our tears until we left the room. We do our best to walk with you through an unimaginable part of your life. We question what we could have said or done better. We see your faces and those of your children in our dreams at night. We love your children too. We recognize the miracle, the pain, the changes. We see clearly the mark that each leaves on the world and on your hearts. They will always be your precious child, but please know that they've left their tiny footprints on our hearts as well. With all my love, a nurse for 23 years, no be guy. This reading honors all of the birthdays we celebrate without our dear children here and some of the feelings we may be experiencing on those special days. I specifically remember my sweet girl who was born October 22, 2000. And in a couple of weeks, she would be 20. And though that seems like many years ago, there's not a day that goes by that I don't remember her with great care and great love. Birthday, author unknown. This day will be a celebration of the short time you were here. You'll always be remembered with great love and sometimes tears. But only to feel pain and sorrow would not be quite fair to you because your life meant much more to me, more than I ever knew. You were here so briefly. I wonder if you know all of the ways you've touched my world since the day God called you home. Now, my child, you're an angel with your heavenly Father above. I see not only what I've lo lost, but also my capacity for love. There will always be a big void. My soul will grieve forever. Will I forget or stop loving you? No, not now, not ever. As this sad day is upon me, oh, how my heart still hurts. But even as I mourn your death, I celebrate your birth. My name is Jenna Crombie. I'm the mother of Nora Grace Crombie. I'm so sorry we're not together today, but just know that I'm thinking of you and I'm thinking of all of your babies today and always. I'll be reading A Moment in Time by Debbie Dickinson. Time passes, but not the love I have for you. Not the ache inside of me because you are not here. You were with us for as long as God allowed. You were real, you existed, and you counted. You were with us only a short time, but it was long enough to grow to love you, for you to make a difference in our lives. You could not stay, 
but thoughts of you will forever remain, as does the love this day tempered by the pain.
Hello, my name is Ben Crombie, and I will be reading A Child is Such a Special Gift. A child is such a special gift to love, to hold, to treasure. A very special miracle who gives us so much pleasure. But when that gift is taken back and our hearts are cold and torn, amid this grief and sorrow, we're so glad that they were born. For they leave a precious legacy, even though we're far apart, the love they left behind them will stay forever in our hearts. Remember me with love, author unknown. As years pass by and others rarely mention my name, remember me with love. When my anniversary date arrives, Take a moment to say my name aloud. If tears fall, let them. Wherever you are, know that I am. I live in your heart, mind, and soul. Don't worry. You will never forget me, and we will be together again. I have taught you about love in a way nothing else possibly could. Don't waste this lesson. Use the love you still possess to give to others. Comfort others who have had a loss. Do it in my memory. And besides that, a little bit of me lives in each person you touch. You have the power to make my legacy one that I would be proud of. Light a candle, buy a rose, perform an act of kindness. Simple things, but then our love is great. No remembrance could ever be large enough to show how much you love me for true love has no boundaries. And don't forget, I love you too. Look at a puffy cloud, flower, or bird. Have no doubt, my angel spirit is. Contemplate the many gifts I've left, how I've affected your life in a good way. I've shown you how precious life is and given you a greater appreciation of it. I've let you discover how strong you really are. I hope my short time here has made you discover what's really important. Your faith has been tested and hopefully strengthened. I hope your heart is filled with peace. Most of all, know that our love is eternal. If you think of me today, I'll be rejoicing from above to know that you have remembered me with your precious love.